What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I bring you the new Dead Orbit weapons that will come with the House of Wolves on May 19th. But before we get into the video, if I could ask you guys to drop a like, it really does help out. Let's try and reach 4,000 likes. That would be insane if we could. Okay, we're going to start with the Unwilling Soul 09. Not a great start because this isn't a new weapon. Um, as we all know, the Unwilling Soul isn't that great. When you got this from the Nightfall, you were really disappointed. But let's just take a look at its stats and mods anyway. Okay, it's a kinetic weapon like every single weapon, every primary weapon you can buy across the tower. You can ascend it to a 365 and you can reforge it at any time you want via the Gunsmith. We have three sights, we have the Red Dart, we have Quick Draw, and we have the Focus Lens. We then have Hip Fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy when firing from the hip. Next up we have armor piercing rounds, we have speed reload and we have hand laid stock, increased ability, reduced range. We then have counterbalance, this weapon has increased stability. Okay, next weapon we're going to take a look at is the Deadshot Luna SR1 which is a new scout rifle. Okay, getting into its mods we have quick draw IS, we have the range lens RLS3 and we have focus lens FLS2. We then have full auto, this weapon can be fired in full auto mode. We then have quick draw, explosive rounds and reinforced barrel, increased range, reduced stability. We then have army of one, unassisted kills with this weapon reduced, grenade and melee cooldown. So all in all this isn't a bad looking scout rifle, I mean it looks unique in itself. It's got full auto, it's got explosive rounds, I probably would be rolling still but you never know, you never know. Ain't gonna be one. Dead Orbit isn't the, the faction I represent. I represent New Monarchy. But once I'm done with New Monarchy, Dead Orbit is definitely the one I will be going to. Okay, moving on. The next weapon we're gonna take a look at is the Rude Awakening DOA, which must stand for Dead or Alive, which is a shotgun and it's got arc damage and it looks absolutely amazing. It reminds me of the Spaz 12 from uh, Modern Warfare 2. For some reason, I just think it looks fucking badass. Um, we have aggressive ballistics. Accurized Ballistics and Smart Drift Control. We have Range Finder, we have Feed Stuck, Quick Draw and Reinforced Barrel. We then have Battle Runner kills with this weapon granted a brief boost to the sprint's top speed. All in all, I am liking the look of the new Dead Orbit Shotgun, the Rude Awakening Dead or Alive. That is going to be one I actually do try and grab, it really is. Next weapon we're going to take a look at is the Armor Engine DOA, which must stand for Dead or Alive also, which is a machine gun, a new one this time around to the Dead Orbit, and it looks fucking badass. Okay, we have Soft Ballistics, we have Linear Compensator, and we have CQB Ballistics, we then have Hot Swap. Ready in this weapon, that's a brief period of bonus accuracy. We then have Quick Draw, Single Point Sling, and Small Bone. Increased range and stability, slower reload, reduced magazine size. And last mod we have is Grenadier. Kills with this weapon, reduce the cooldown of your grenade. I would, if I got this, I would definitely re-roll it, just to get things that work and giving it a better stability. Okay, the next weapon we're gonna take a look at from the Dead Orbit faction vendor is the Exodus Plan RS Slash 1, which is a rocket launcher. You can obtain right now before the House of Wolves, so it isn't new to be honest, but we'll still run through its mods anyway. Okay, we have Counter Mass, we have Linear Compensator, and we have Confined Launch. Next up, we have Tripod. This weapon's tube can hold three shells. We then have Flared Magwell, Feed Stock, and Snapshot. Last up, we have Grenades and Horseshoes. Rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. Not a rocket launcher, I will be busting my ass to grab. Last weapon we can obtain is the Final Rest 2, which is a fusion rifle already obtainable in the game. Mods we have is Red Dot ORS1, we have Short Shot IS, and we have Quick Draw IS. We then have Spray and Play, increases the reload speed of this weapon when the mag is empty. We have Quick Draw, this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. We have Lightweight, we then have Reinforced Barrel, increased range, reduced stability. Last mod we have is Icarus, improved accuracy while airborne which is actually a mod I'm looking forward to actually trying out but like the shotgun I won't be busting my ass to get the final rest too but guys that is it for the dead orbit weapons that come with the house of wolves on May 19th is there any weapon here you're looking forward to owning let me know down below in that comment section is dead orbit your faction let me know that too thanks for stopping by as always do drop a like I do appreciate the support and peace out until next time peace